guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys multiple ways to style locks. It could be full locks or your natural locks, you know, it works for both. Some of the hairstyles I came up with myself, like this one, and some of them I got off of Pinterest, other people's YouTube videos, you know, a range of different places. That these could be used for if you're going out to dinner, if you're going out for lunch, wherever you're going, like it could be also formal as well. Like this, I feel like you could definitely wear if you're going out to dinner, you know, it was really cute, really cute. If you're new know here, I'm Jan Chrisanne, and I do a variety of hair, beauty, well, here is beauty, so beauty, lifestyle, more so beauty and lifestyle as of right now, but we are going to branch out soon or later. But hair videos are very big on this channel, on this platform. Um, you guys do tend to enjoy my hair videos at most. So if you love hair content, this is the place for you. I hope you guys enjoy this video and it helps you when you have your full locks. But without further ado, let's just hop right into the video. First, I started off with a retwist. What I use to do my retwist is the Knit Braid Conditioning Gel. It works really well. That's also what I use to do my braids under my faux locks. I wanted to do this so that I could have a fresh front and the front doesn't look as frizzy. With this hairstyle, your roots are out. So whenever I tend to style them if I'm going out, I didn't do this um, all the time, but on special occasions, I would just give myself a little retwist, you know, have that fresh, refreshed look. <laughs> So for the first hairstyle, we're starting off with a simple half up, half down, but with a little pizzazz. I'm just going to be adding a side part of here in the front to give it more of a formal look. Something that I like to do with my ponytails is just taking one or two locks to wrap around it to give it like more of a classier touch. hairstyle is pretty much a different version of the first one but with this one i'm just going to be adding a swoop to the front if you don't want that extra piece of hair in the front hairstyle is pretty much a more formal version of the first two but with this one we're gonna add a big difference i'm just gonna do little rolls on the top um i want to call this hairstyle like a rose kind of because it kind of looks like a rose when you're done with the final product but what i'm doing is taking my two fingers and just putting it in between and wrapping my locks um along my fingers and just uh, pinning that little knot down and uh, this is pretty much a hairstyle you have to kind of go with the flow it might not turn out the best but you know imperfection is perfection hairstyle i kind of got inspiration from the people that actually have locks um whenever they get retwist sometimes like they do this like little barrel twist with like their um locks so one morning i was getting ready and then i had the idea to kind of just freestyle my hairstyle instead of looking up the hairstyle and this just popped up in my head i pretty much just left the front row of my locks out and then uh, like the next second to fourth row i kind of just barrel twisted it and i sent the front piece over to the back and i just put a scrunchie on there um for this cute like little side part moment <laughs>
this next hairstyle is very similar to the last one we're just going to do a barrel twist to the side i'm doing one on the left and one on the right and we're just tying it to the back for a pulled back kind of look <laughs> This one is just a middle part version of the last one. pony hairstyles we're gonna start off with the classic high pony with this hairstyle you could pretty much go to any function with this you know any dinner it's a club she will hold up the only thing is she will be a little heavy <laughs> next hairstyle is by far my favorite hairstyle that i've done so far in my full locks and it is basically just barrel twist at the ends of your high ponytail which creates like a little bop effect it is so so cute the only thing is it does take a lot of time to wrap that hair around so if you are going to do this do this for a very special occasion when you have a lot of time to get ready and you're not in the rush because trust is going to take around 20 minutes to wrap this just by yourself if you don't have any help Style number 10 is very similar to the last one. I'm just going to add that side part with barrel twist ends, and I love this one, it was so cute. <laughs> next hairstyle i didn't show the process of me doing it because i literally just had to take out the barrel twist at the ends of my hair um but it's pretty much just a high ponytail with the side part mm -hmm. 
last hairstyle which i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are familiar with is the poetic justice inspired scarf high bun i'm just gonna wrap my locks into this scarf it doesn't have to be the biggest but i'm just gonna tie two knots in the front and then after i'm just tucking the ends of the scarf and so i absolutely love this hairstyle one of my favorites this is definitely the hairstyle that you do when you're just so ready to take your hair out and you just don't want to show off your roots this is exactly what i did on my last day with my braids or my locks <laughs> this video and it was useful to you of course if there's any hair content that you guys want to see in the near future make sure you comment that down below and i'll see you guys in my next one bye